How to create a chart for a new patient. This quick exercise will show you how to enter a new patient into Metasoft. We'll be putting in Hero Tanaka, which is one of your exercises, exercise 5.3 in your textbook, page 240. We'll start by going to Lists, then Patients, Guarantors, and Cases. Make sure that there is a dot in the patient radio button so that you can access the patient buttons down here and select the button that says new patient. Once that opens the first thing you'll need to do is create a chart number. If you don't create a chart number the software will do it for you automatically and I'd like to encourage you to uh, put that chart number in so you have control over that. The book asks us to use the first five letters of the last name, the first two letters of the first name, followed by the number zero. Please be certain that the number is zero and not the letter O. The software does recognize the difference between the two. And then very simply to uh, capture the demographic information of the patient, you'll just type that in very quickly. Try and get this in quickly here. And you don't have to put information in every single box. Um, the software will prompt you for boxes that need to be filled in if, for some reason, uh, you missed something. So I'm going to just put in the basics here. And I'm, I'm going to bypass the email and telephone numbers. Certainly when you're working in an office, you want to capture that information. But I do want to capture the birth date as well as the social security number. And a reminder that this information is found in the back of your book under the source documents. Also, uh, you always want to make sure, I know this sounds kind of obvious, but make sure that you have the right gender of your patient. Where This is where a lot of errors occur. When these errors occur, that's a great reason for insurance companies not to reimburse you. So before you leave this page make sure you have everything in as accurately as possible to the best of your ability. There are two other tabs to pay attention to when we create a, a new chart. The second is other information. We'll select here that this is a patient for us. Hiro Tanaka is a patient who is here to see Dr. Yan. Under patient, under type, we have patient or guarantor. She can be both at the same time, and in addition, because she is a patient, we're going to make that one the priority. The assigned provider is Dr. Yan. Reminder that these little magnifying glasses will uh, give you an entire list of who you're looking for. So you can select them that way, or you can select by choosing the drop-down arrow. Patient ID number two, we will leave blank. We will use the default patient billing code. Patient indicator, we will leave blank. We will certainly choose a flag, and the flag is a color. That's all it is, is a color, and it is assigned to who her insurance plan is. She happens to be covered by Ohio Care HMO. Healthcare ID is left blank. Signature on file is important to always have a check in that, and the date that the patient signed the form. And again, if you look at the uh, source document on page 674, you'll find that at the very bottom, indicating that she has signed the information. She has no emergency contact information, but we can put that in there as needed. And under employer, she works for McRae Manufacturing. And as you progress, remember in this software, we always work in the future. So the software always wants to confirm with us are you sure you entered the date correctly? So you've entered a future date, do you want to change it? No, I don't want to change it, that's the date that I want to have. Signature date you have entered is in the future, and it's just a reminder, don't let that um, throw you. She works for McRae Manufacturing. Now I've captured all the information in here that I have and that I need, and then I'll check under payment plan. I'll just, I want to just show you 
very quickly. Payment plan, we don't do anything in here, but this window is designed if you set something up with a patient that maybe they're making monthly payments or weekly payments. We're going to keep this simple here and just uh, bypass this. So whenever, anytime you have to create a new chart for a patient, you'll be filling in the first two tabs, name and address, and other information. You can save this at any time you'd like, but the moment you save it, it will take you away from this screen. So I would encourage you to fill in all the tabs you want to first, and then finally come on over here and click on Save. Once it's saved, it returns you to the patient list screen, and you can see here a Tanaka is now entered. And you've just completed entering a new patient.